okay we have the configuration then we need the master records so first we will create the material master so we'll create mm super user transaction code mm01 or logistic material management material master material create select any industry sector material type what the material we are creating here now we are creating raw material so select raw material one second <laughs> Select the material type. If you are creating the finished product, then you need to select the semi-finished product. If it's a semi-finished uh, product, you need to create uh, select here finished product. So this is nothing but attributes of material type. And select the views. What are the different tabs we are going to maintain here? Different in case of different material, we are going to maintain different tabs. It is raw material. So select basic data. Then purchasing general plant storage one. Accounting, costing one, costing two. Select your plant, WM1, storage location missing. So this tab selecting means we are going to add some information relevant to this tab. Costing one, costing two. WM01 warehouse. How we are going to measure the material raw material let's say kg material group wm0001 division wm okay uh, weight about the material I don't know so just take here one purchasing group WMP okay this is your accounting tab in accounting tab we need to add the valuation class so for raw material valuation class we configured WM one and what is the price i told you if it is raw material then we will select here moving average price if it is finished product then we will select here standard price so moving price is take anything the price let's say 200 per unit price is 200 save it So raw material created.